Uh, my name is Edward Slobetsky. I'm founder of a company called Active, uh, which is delivering the intelligent automation services to customers uh, worldwide, as well as I'm UI Path Most Valuable Professionals for 2020 and 2021. Our relationship with UiPath is that we are delivering automations to our customers with the help of UiPath for the software. I'm using UiPath, or I'm with UiPath since 2016. So it is already over five years that uh, I'm familiar with the product. Twenty twenty dot ten. So actually, it is automation of the back office. And here, when speaking about our customers and use cases, I wouldn't highlight one or another specifically, but mainly we're using UiPath to build center of excellence as is. So meaning that the aim is to automate majority of the processes in the company which can be automated. And it includes uh, order to cash, HR, supply chain, United, and others. So we are not approaching it to for one or another specific process, but run it as a center of excellence to automate the enterprise end to end. <laughs> I think, I mean, all of them, but uh, I, I, I would assume that you expect me to uh, name them. So the features which our customers find, our customers find valuable for them, are definitely like Studio, where the UiPath started. So the Studio is a very powerful product which helps very easily to build the automations. Nowadays, there is also a Studio X for citizen developers, which doesn't require coding. So the very first valuable and, and important product is Studio. Then for sure, Orchestrator, which helps to later monitor and uh, schedule robots, manage assets, credentials, etc. So the second one is uh, Orchestrator. Then the third one was worth mentioning. I would say Insights. It is about the reporting and dashboard. So once the robots are running, it is quite valuable to see how those robots are performing. So KPIs and, and other aspects of both robots and processes. And Definitely also worth mentioning the Automation Hub, which helps to manage the automation initiative end-to-end, -end, especially building the pipeline and collecting the ideas. I believe, it's, I believe it is quite easy to build automations with UiPath, especially that now they segregate it depending on seniority, meaning that you have the regular Studio and Studio Pro for truly for developers, as well as there is, as mentioned before, the Studio X, which is more for people without the previous uh, coding background. So I would say that this is quite easy to use both for me as a developer, but uh, I would not like to provide only subjective experience as a developer. I can also share observations from our customer deliveries where people with a business background were quite easy to pick the tool up and use it in their daily automations, though they didn't have any previous experience with programming or writing macros or whatever else. Absolutely, this is what we are doing on a daily basis. So UiPath enables mainly our clients through us to build end-to-end -end automations in their processes. When I mean end-to-end, uh, meaning that we help them to automate the chain of processes, but not focusing on single process itself. I think end-to-end -end coverage within the UiPath is a great advantage and great uh, possibility. And, and uh, it is really important to have ability to do it end-to-end -end and cover it end-to-end, -end, though not all the time is applicable. So I think that this is nice option to have and use it when needed. Absolutely, I would be happy to. So talking of our customers and how usually the RPA journey starts, 
It is about the time saving, what was a big goal of RP initiatives back in 2017, I would say 2016, 2017 and onwards. But very soon after starting the RPA journey, customers realize much more important benefits than time saving itself and FTE saving or even worse like FTE reduction. Yeah? So there are things like quality improvement. So whenever the work is done by robots, it is running much more stable and without any human-like uh, mistakes and errors. It is sustainability, means that robots are usually not getting sick, getting a bad, bad mood or, uh, I don't know, having some conflicts with each other, etc. They just made to do their work whatsoever. And another great observation that's still contributing to sustainability is, and stability of delivery is that robots also cannot get uh, virus and I'm speaking about like human viruses, COVID, etc. So we have customers which um, workload for which was growing dramatically in relation to COVID and having processes already automated, it was very easy to sustain and even upscale the delivery. So, so quality, stability and maybe the third one on top of um, FTE saving, I would say that would be the customer experience. So it is not only important to spend less time or less resources in delivering the, the service to a customer, but also the time in which customer gets the response, in which customer gets the end product, etc. So overall customer experience can be much improved with using robots in the processes. At the very beginning, whenever we start the RPA journey, we always start with understanding also potential return of investment. So we don't start automating process before understanding the savings. So each and every process which we automate, we start with understanding what it will bring to, to the end customer. So a regular, like usually, minimal saving we see in the processes we automate is around half of the and then goes up. So the, the biggest processes which we were automating we're saving more than 20 FTEs. We are speaking just about one process. So this is these are the FT savings which we were having in, in our projects. Absolutely yes, because uh, having having UI path in the cloud enables and enterprise and customer to focus more on automation initiative itself instead of managing all the hardware and dealing with all all the hardware problems and uh, having more or giving more hard time to an IT department instead of that you can use everything out of the box in the day one from cloud and focus actually on bringing benefits to your end customer or end employee. Absolutely, and I would say that automation cloud increases the time to value dramatically in the relation of that you can start from the day one, literally day one, you can go and start automating the processes without bothering with all the infrastructure topics. So the time required to deliver the first benefits is reduced dramatically. Absolutely. Um, talking of automation cloud, it helps to it helps to reduce the cost of the infrastructure maintenance, especially on the early stages of the projects, as well as small and mid medium projects for the long term, because not necessarily all the customers, all the enterprises have strong IT departments or strong infrastructure in-house. And nowadays, even large enterprises are moving more and more towards the cloud services, even though they have the strong IT and infrastructure teams in place. I would say that automation cloud affects uh, ability to scale very positively because now it is a matter of minutes or the worst case hours 
to double the capacity of your virtual team or of your robot team. So I would say that, yeah, it, 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 it positively and dramatically affects the scale of the Yeah, considering the fact that UiPath is uh, SaaS uh, offering, uh, it enables our customers really quickly adapt and start using the technology from, as, as was said before, almost from the day one. So it is very easy to um, start developing, it is very easy to start running robots because everything comes from cloud and everything comes as a software as a service. So, yes, uh, we are using UiPath apps for our customers. Not yet on this level, and I can elaborate why. Mainly, still we are involved as a service provider in creation of the apps for the end users. I think that where it brings added value is it removes the limitations of, of the need to have additional user interface because you can create this app or user interface directly in UiPath to have even better user, employee or even customer interaction. UiPath apps definitely increase the number of automations naturally just because of you can take more into the scope what wasn't in there before with just attended or unattended automation. Uh, considering the fact that you can build better user interface or, or any user interface from the very beginning, yeah, because before there were only simple message boxes and prompts, now you can build a really nice forms to interact Absolutely, every uh, team member of, of our company went through UiPath Academy as well as whenever enabling, enabling Center of Excellence on the client end, we always start and actively involve UiPath Academy. So UiPath Academy courses is a part of our standard onboarding procedure in the company. So if we of course, especially if you we onboard the junior developers, the very first thing we address them to is UiPath Academy. So they start with a basic foundation that they go through advanced um, deployment certification, and only then we build on top more specifics about our standards, our delivery approach, etc. So I would say that UiPath Academy is a core and the basic start for each and every employee in the company and then based on that we can later elaborate in, in different topics. I think the biggest value I see behind UiPath Academy is simplicity of, uh, simplicity of delivering the information I must say. So even if you don't have any previous development experience and coding experience it the all the explanations videos practical tasks and, and reading material is formed in a way really easy to understand so the biggest value i see behind bringing people up to speed from really different levels including very very junior people with no previous experience in coding programming or creation of the robots Um, it, is, uh, it is absolutely applicable and uh, being an MVP, uh, for me, community has a huge value in the whole end-to-end -end journey of, of RPA, meaning that at the very beginning, whenever you learn new things, you can always find a lot of useful hints uh, in, in the forum and in the community. Later, where you already deliver some solutions, 
sooner or later you will face some problems and very likely you are not the first person facing those problems. So there is always someone who already had this problem and even raised it in, in the forum or some other sources or maybe recorded the YouTube content on it, etc. So even when, when you are already deep in delivery, sooner or later there will be a point when you reach out for help to community. And I think that it plays the crucial role uh, for developers and overall for um, automation specialists, be it business analysts, be it developer, architect, etc. So community is one of definitely most important uh, factors of, of this uh, business and for sure this product you are part of. Um, I think that this question is not applicable to me since I can, I'm not actively involved in other communities. Therefore, I can only say that UiPath community is very supportive and very active in responding to any uh, queries. And I think that this is live, this is live, uh, this is the organization, this is the, 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 some live thing which is self-growing so meaning that there are people coming and bringing some questions as well as others answering it inspiring next and next generation of, of forum members to again help others in a payback for the help they receive so um i cannot really judge on other communities i can only say that the of community is really responsible as well As I said at the very beginning, that almost every company when starting the RPA and automation journey, they think of FTE saving as a main benefit, but very fast they recognize how huge is the value behind the quality improvements after automation. So it's quite obvious that robots are not doing human-like mistakes caused by not paying attention or not enough sleep or bad weather bad food or whatever else yeah so another thing which is very important is like getting bored so very often whenever you are to process 1000 or 10,000 records in more or less the same manner it just becomes the super annoying and i'm sure this is only a question of time when one or another mistake will appear so definitely the quality improvement is very um, very important factor and one of the core benefits of RPA besides that is a Yeah, I would say that usually in our uh, initiatives uh, we can see not higher than 5% of error rates when it is executed by robots and even those, I wouldn't say the errors, but more exceptions which are known, documented and later hand over to business with already specific explanations. So first of all, the good KPIs for robots are to have less than 5% of the exception rates. This is the, the first one. And second, related with this is that by improving quality, you still save a lot of time because it can reduce the amount of rewards which you have afterwards. So in one of the projects we were delivering, it reduced by eight times the amount of reworks which customer needed to process due to the, this human-related errors. So there were still some which were already quite well documented by the robots and agent already knew what to do with this or that case, but the amount of uh, rewards was reduced by eight times. What I would improve uh, in UiPath, or, or I would just say that keep on improving, is the other products in end-to-end -end automation. So UiPath started with the studio and orchestrator as a core product, and still we are actively cooperating with UiPath and suggesting uh, improvements for the other uh, products. So maybe as one of the uh, products where I would definitely see the area for improvements would be a task capture. It is already good, but there are many aspects and, and many ideas which, for example, our business analysts have which can be improved. 
And the good thing about this is that UiPath is very actively listening to the feedback and every month or every release incorporating this feedback in, in the product lifecycle. Comparing the initial setup on the cloud and on-premise, I'd say that definitely the on-cloud configuration is much easier and I think this is one of the purposes of, of uh, on-cloud solution to be easy to deploy and easy to scale. So I would say that talking of on-cloud is definitely straightforward. Talking of deployment on-premise, it is also quite straightforward, especially to start but the complexity grows with demand and requirements from the customer. So, of course, if we are to get into the area of high availability and more complex server setup, it takes some effort to establish it on the end. So, talking of the deployment on on cloud, I think that the, the simplest deployment is a matter of, I would say, 15 minutes or even, even five. So I think that after five minutes, you are ready to go and already use Studio and Cloud Orchestrator. So it is very fast. Maybe one remark is that you still need to have your admin rights available on your PC, but that's the only prerequisite I have in mind. Talking for on-prem, same thing for simple, uh, simple deployment. So I think that if you are only to use a Studio and attend the robot, it is very easy to configure in a matter of 15 minutes, let's say, and you are ready to go. Uh, whenever it comes to orchestration and especially high availability and more complex setups, I would say the cloud is still um, out of the box ready from, from, from the day one, from the first minutes of, of, of registration and then creating the cloud space. Where for on premise, I would say that it is a matter of one, two days, depending also on how good the infrastructure team you have on board. Sure. Talking of deployment and implementation, I would split these two topics. And speaking of deployment, I think we elaborated already in, in the previous questions on it that definitely the cloud deployment or and, and infrastructure rollout is much easier uh, than the one on premise. Uh, where talking of implementation, I would say that more or less the implementation approach remains the same. So meaning that on the end you still have the same setup of products, be it Studio, or Orchestrator, Task Capture, whatever else. I think that robots also. I think on the end you have the same um, configuration of the products. It is only on the back end, it is hosted in the other place. So you don't really recognize the difference between, or uh, big difference between on cloud and on prem hosted uh, services. In, in my case, both on-prem and uh, cloud solutions are very stable. Uh, the cloud one uh, thanks to UiPath team and on-prem in our case thanks to our customer IT infrastructure team. So I think that in both cases it is very stable and here we need to understand that this is the combination of, of at least two factors, if, if not more. So one is the product itself, what in both cases is UiPath, but the second second is infrastructure, be it Azure Cloud, be it some on-prem infrastructure, etc. So it is the stability of infrastructure itself. And the third, especially if we are speaking about uh, on-prem, it is about the team and people who maintain it. So it really depends from very, exclusive great services to, to really bad sometimes, but mainly it is because of people involved in it, but not the UI as, as a product itself. I have experienced really good stability in both uh, on-premise and cloud. I think that scalability of UI path is one of the main competitive advantages uh, compared to other products that um, UiPath is not only the software which helps you to build those robots, but also the software and the solution which gives you a possibility to stably run it, scale it, and 
But with the stable operations, you can focus on new automations instead of maintaining already existing solutions. So I would really say that UiPath is very scaling friendly and support friendly too. I would say eight, and uh, I never give ten uh, just to, to keep the motivation high. And I would, I would say, that, yeah, one is like a regular point down. And the other one, I, I still believe that there are areas of improvement, though I really rate UiPath support really high. Um, the response time can always be shorter. The, the, Specification on the solving problems can always be better, etc. But overall, I am extremely happy with the support UiPath provides in over 95% of the cases. And for the remaining five, I think that we still receive the needed support. It only takes another iteration to to look through another team and have a look on the problem. Yeah, considering my experience, I would definitely recommend when starting the RPA journey and starting to use the UiPath, uh, think about RPA as a robot factory, as a strategic thing, but not focus on one or another process. Think big and aim for automating all the manual processes in the corporate and from the day one, adjust all your procedures and infrastructure the way that you will be able to get to this point but not get stuck at some point and have a need to rework anything, change your standards because at the very beginning you were aiming for a small initiative here and there and now you need to rework because it is not scalable. So I would say that if I'm to give one advice, I would say aim for scalability from the day one. Definitely then. Now, since we are the happy, uh, happy partner of UiPath as well as we see and we have many successful implementations with our customers, I can confidently, out of my five years experience of using UiPath, I definitely give it 10 out of 10. Um, and I still believe that there is always a space for improvement. Yes, so uh, it is not to have the nose up and say, okay, we are perfect, not, not, not to improve anything, but more to really show my appreciation to the tool. So I think that they, they are making really good product and they should still keep on with the same great pace as they've shown until now. And we would for sure in the future still keep on using this uh, product to deliver the services to our customers.